Hi everyone, it's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion. Welcome to our home. If this is the first time you're tuning in, welcome. My husband Ryan and I bought this old mansion here in Omaha, Nebraska just over a year ago. This house was built in 1910 by Ephraim and Augusta Dixon. You will also see her referred to as Marie Dixon in some of the um, record but we bought this house a little over a year ago. We've been transforming, restoring, preserving, and sharing our journey all along the way. So thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that so you don't miss out on any of the excitement that happens each week. So I am standing in one of our guest bedrooms here on the second floor. So you can see there's a little dresser behind me and our beautiful sconces are lit this morning. It's a sunny day finally but it is very noisy on the first floor. So I'm up on the second floor just because progress is happening in the kitchen. This week you're gonna get a look at what is happening, sort of a little bit of the progress. I can tell you that I feel like we've sort of turned a corner and um, my garage is no longer full of cabinets. They're actually being installed. So it's really looking amazing. And I'm so excited that a vision and an idea I had for our kitchen is becoming even better than I could have imagined. It's really, it's fantastic. So I'm super excited about that progress is happening. We have Halloween just a week away. And a couple of weeks ago, I got to go to Asheville, North Carolina, as some of you um, may have looked at the tour of the Biltmore, which I shared with all of you, which is stunning and um, so inspiring. As beautiful as the Biltmore was, so were the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I had the really wonderful, wonderful privilege of being able to fulfill a bucket list item by taking a hot air balloon ride in fall over the Blue Ridge Mountains. I cannot recommend it high enough. So thank you to the Asheville Balloon Company. The captain of our balloon was also the owner of the company and he's also an airline pilot. So Tom, a big thank you to you and your crew. It was so much fun. And we went sort of at the end of our trip. It was really a good way to end things and to celebrate, you know, just life and beauty and nature. So I'll share some of that balloon ride with you as well as a little bit of our hikes and our walks through the Blue Ridge Mountains. And there's waterfalls all around Asheville. They're stunning, they're just absolutely incredible. So I'll share a little bit of that with all of you as well as some, a visit from a friend from North Platte, my hometown, we grew up together. So you're gonna get a peek at that little tour and a hello from them. And also we had some fun visitors this weekend. We had baby Franny with us. So just a whole kind of conglomeration of a lot of things. But I thought I would take, give you a quick look at the bedroom up here, which is just one of the soft, easy places that um, a lot of people come and visit and stay. And this is a big, large bedroom on the second floor that we've decorated. But one of the things that I really love in this room is what I've done with an old postcard collection. So just over the years, I've picked up random postcards and I love it when they've got the stamp on them or the date or, you know, they're written um, specifically from a location or in a foreign language. And then I also have some that my mom and dad brought me from um, Sarbin, Nebraska, which is a tiny little spot in the road out west of North Platte, which is where my dad grew up and where my grandparents lived. And if you look back in the, or if you saw any of the original episodes of my grandmother's China, that how their house was in Sarben and it's spelled S-A-R-B-E-N. There used to be a store and a post office and all kinds of things there. But like many small towns here in Nebraska, that's it's just no longer in existence. So anyway, let's take a look at some of those, my fun postcard collection. So what I've done is to just put them under this bit of glass. It's kind of set up like a little dresser in the room. That's actually a, a was built to cover the radiator. So this is now useful space that we can set things. And this is my postcard collection. I've got an old hanky in there. But if you look very closely, yep, there is a postcard postmarked to Sarban, Nebraska, Mr. and Mrs. Tom Cox, who are my grandparents. And then I have some old vintage postcards. They're just really lovely. And I think just a fun way to display them, to have them out so that you can use them and see them. And they don't get damaged, but you know, with postcards, it's kind of hard. Like, do you mount them in a frame or what do you do? And so this is just a really kind of cool way to 
display them and let people be able to look at several of them at one time. And luckily, this is just a fun little soap dish that I have here to just kind of put your whatnots on. Um, luckily this glass was already here when we moved in, so someone else was using this just as a protected surface, surface and I just sort of scooped it up to use it as my little place to display my postcards. So I think that's really, really fun. And here's, I just love looking at these. Here's an Easter card. Another one, Tom Cox, Serving Nebraska. And the date on this one, if you can see here, is 1958. So still back when people used to actually send people cards. And then here's my yard long that my Aunt Iris gave me. I just have her kind of perched in the corner. And then this is a really neat thing I've found for my guest bedrooms is these are watercrafts. They're just old vintage. It's a watercraft and you set it at the bedside or in the room so that someone can drink their water during the evening and then the cup just spits back on top. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I just love this. I found these at the antique mall here in Omaha and I really, really love it. We're bathing. Got a little morning breakfast. Mm -hmm. Oh look, who did Action the flower? Action going here. It was on the table. Oh. Baked by our extraordinary chef, Mary. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is good. And just mm. an absolutely Mary. beautiful day. Amazing. That's a, that's a keeper. Mm -hmm. nature okay. moments we have to stop and capture every single one. <laughs> It's like the perfect uh, background. And the for cutest it. little pumpkin stuff at these people's house. Look at the cute little white squirrel. Got sunset off the terrace at the Grove Park Hotel. <laughs> oh, the bag of Ashland. With my beautiful friends. <laughs> oh my god. It is Monday morning, very early, sun is not up yet. We are just getting ready to go up into our hot air balloon ride. Well, good morning. Weather is good, it's a little cloudy, but everything is great. We're your pilot. I am older than him. Not much. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. we got a little bit of clouds, but usually the prettiest flights we have are days when there are clouds because it makes it more okay. romantic, you know. Um,
I had some drinkers on my hand. Wow, what a day. Look at this. Wow. Uh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, dear Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is just exquisite. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and hang out and hang out with hang out with Diana yeah. on her birthday. <laughs> that, 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 seriously, I, this isn't my hobby. This is. Somewhere down Hello, this, this is amazing. Thank you to my best friend who turned this out. All right, we're going to do a little rotation. So the two ways are going down. One is just to lay there out and go down. Here, here you go. You can go right there. Here, at least it's hard. You got to pull hard. Lisa's driving the blue. Lisa. Lisa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh wow. My yeah. life is complete. Yes, yes, yes. Pull yes. the balloon. Wow. It is like sailing. I got one. Poor guy. This is our balloon back to the ground. They're just deflating. We had an incredible ride. So much fun. Yeah, don't pack cold. winter weather gear. So we're just loading up the car. Or we could have a blizzard. And we've got one good. less one last drive down this very interesting, treacherous driveway, but we've had a great stay here so far. Just taking a look at one last look at the place. Cute little flyer pit. Here's our little breakfast spot up at the top of the hill. And our cute little cabin. It's been fun. We've had a great time. The activity and the transformation behind this curtain are amazing. I'm so excited. Right, getting a little look at the progress here. Everybody wave. Good morning. <laughs> so, hey. hello. I'm gonna put the theme song to this to a uh, minute work. <laughs> <laughs> Got the walls all primed and these guys are putting on the color, which is just a very light, it's very light, super light blue gray. It's got a blue undertone to it. My friend Lisa Jenkins, the colorist, had me pick out. So this is the view from, I'm standing in front of the back door, so they're just adding the cabinets that way. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It is really looking amazing. So we have some really fun visitors that came to the Mystical Magical Mansion this weekend. Some friends from North Platte, so we have Dee. Kalina and Karen. 
Yeah. So say hi, everybody. What were your thoughts about the house? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. It was yes. fun to see. Sometimes yes. Sometimes you don't get to see everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are going to come back again sometime. So oh, yes, absolutely. Sure. All right. Can you smile? You got a little smiley face? Yeah. There we go. There we go, happy girl. Now, what do you think of her? Oh, she's so sweet. The baby, the Franny. Thank you all for tuning in, for following along, for sharing our journey. And some of you may have noticed my necklace through this whole intro and video part. Aunt Wendy from uh, Witches of East End, an oldie bit of goodie, but probably mandatory viewing for this week before Halloween. That, Practical Magic, um, I'm trying to think of what other favorite Halloween. Obviously, Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters are, you know, a, a given. As I tell you every week, get out your good jewelry, get out your Halloween rings. I've got my little skull ring on today. Get out your, your good stuff, get out your china, your dishes, your favorite dress, whatever it is, but stop tucking away all of your good stuff and keeping it for a special occasion. We are not guaranteed a tomorrow, so you know what? You deserve the good stuff. Let's have some tea, let's drink some wine, let's do some fun things, and I want you to be unapologetically fancy. Come on, we're starting a movement. Everybody get on this train with me. And I love hearing from all of you when you tell me all of the, the little things that you've done in an unapologetically fancy way. So, yes, I love your comments, your questions. Please share all of those. A big thank you to my friend Dee for popping in. Thanks so much. It was really good to see you and to meet my new friend Karen and Kaylina. Thank you for popping in and taking a tour of the house. I love sharing our home and our history with all of you. That's part of why this channel exists is so that we can make homes and stories and beautiful histories like this accessible to everyone. Take good care of yourself, stay well, and best wishes from the mystical, magical mansion.